Now, the finance minister has rubbished the opposition's assertion that despite no new taxes, Jamaicans have been forced to bear the burden of increased tax collection. Dr. Nigel Clark instead insists the increased revenue is simply the effect of a hard-working government. We have more. Deceptive, disingenuous, and warranting a red card. That's how Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark has responded to the opposition PNP's claim that Jamaicans are increasingly being taxed indirectly. Its leader, Mark Golding, provided that as the explanation for the doubling of tax revenue compared to 2015-2016. No new tax types, but much, much more taxes. 28% of GDP in taxes relative to 24 back in 2015-16. Revenues have increased substantially as unemployment declined from 13% to 4%. And we had under this administration 30 quarters of economic growth. However... Dr. Clark attributed the increased revenue to four significant areas. Between 2015 and 2022, income tax revenue grew by 145%, education tax revenue by 152%, the Betting, Gaming and Lotteries Commission BGLC tax revenue by 313%, and travel tax revenue 236%. Add those four line items of revenue alone, income tax, education tax, travel tax, they account for $255 billion, or more than 50% of the revenue growth experience. And the growth in those items exceeds the growth in GCT and special consumption tax. He advised the Jamaicans that despite the opposition's interpretation, the situation should not be viewed as a negative development. Now, thank God our revenues recovered. Thank God, or else we could not have allocated $200 billion to public sector compensation. We could not be doing the SPARC program. We could not be buying 100 gay TC buses. We could not be doing 50 garbage trucks. We could not be giving income tax breaks. We could not be raising the pension exemption or the age exemption. We could not be implementing a reverse income tax credit. Madam Speaker, we could not do any of those things without revenue. Natalia Clark for CBN News.